Hi, I'm Jacob Schulman from The Verge, and we're here with Jeff Gadway, the Senior Product Marketing Manager for BlackBerry Playbook, and we're going to show you a quick tour of Playbook OS 2.0. We've made um, the performance of Bridge a lot faster. So um, whether it's accessing BBM or say you're outside of Wi-Fi and you still want to get access to your email calendar contacts, you can use Bridge right, to get that wirelessly, even if you're outside of Wi-Fi, and so that's a lot not, faster. So then how is it different from tethering? So, so tethering um, gives you kind of unfettered data on your playbook in every, you know, in every which way, right? So if it's powering applications or you know, downloading music, tethering is just using your BlackBerry essentially as a modem to the web, yeah. right? Whereas Bridge, it's, it's essentially giving you like a, a big screen window into your BlackBerry application. So say I get an email from Diane, right? And let's pretend it has a, a web link in here, right? And I go, you know what? I want to like enjoy this website on my playbook. I can hit menu and I can say open link on Gadway, right? And what it's going to do is um, open the appropriate application on the playbook. And then I do a long press. Remote control. Remote control. So that gives me the ability to use the um, touch screen to fully remote control the device. Wow, that is really. So do you need a, you need a device with a touch screen? No, right? it works with de uh, devices with trackpads as well. So you've got you know, the ability to, um, to control the device like that. There's also a presenter mode here. So you can use it as like a PowerPoint clicker for slides, right? Okay. And then the last piece here, like you said, if I go in here and say I've got this plugged into my TV across the room and I want to change the website, I can use the keyboard to enter text. Really cool. So the other thing too, I mean this is more of a cosmetic thing, but we've kind of changed the way that OS2 lays out a little bit. So you've got a dock that you can populate with stuff and it's just as simple as, you know, dragging and dropping um, things into this dock. So say you wanted App World up here, um, you can just drop it up here. Um, and with that, we've changed the way that you can organize content on the home screen too. So say I wanted to group all my Angry Birds together, I can just, you know, um, angry. Uh, I can create folders on the home screen too. But okay. Okay. So um, you know, without any further ado, we can jump into the messages mm -hmm. uh, application. So um, this is a unified messages application for both email and social networking. And what's really neat about that is that, say, I wanted to send a direct Twitter message to somebody that I'm following. I can do that right from within the inbox. I don't have to launch the Twitter app to send a Twitter message, right? It's, it's a truly unified and, and consolidated messaging experience that you, you get with this. Can you make a tweet from the message? You can't make a tweet like an app mention. Um, this is like pretty much just for messaging. Okay. Um, but uh, any new direct messages that you receive will come in here and you can reply to them within the, within the app as well. And the last thing I'll show you um, in the inbox or in the messaging application um, is the way that we've incorporated multitasking. And this is something that's pretty unique to Playbook. So um, instead of having a very siloed uh, messaging experience, so say on other platforms where you're in the inbox, you touch on an application or on a message and you wanted to go back, you have to you know, press the home key and it takes you right back out. You're actually able to go in and say I wanted to compose a new message. I can go in, I can start composing, you know, hello. Rich text. Rich text. So that was the other thing I was going to show you. Yeah. Um, I can go back to that message I was just looking at and, and, re and reference it. One of the things that's really neat about, about count, uh, contacts, and I'm going to start here with the accounts um, setting. I can go in and I can add a bunch of accounts to the playbook, right? So here I've got LinkedIn and Twitter set up, and it's as easy as going in and selecting from a list, right, and entering your credentials. Um, and once you've done that, it's going to pull in um, not only your email accounts into the messages, but all of your contacts into the contacts application and all of your calendar um, info into the, into the calendar in, uh, application. Um, so Greg's another guy who works at RIM. And you'll see that his um, contact card is comprised of three different sources of information. So the playbook has intelligently gathered his information from LinkedIn, from um, his uh, RIM um, corporate contact card, um, as, well as, uh, as well as Twitter, 
um, to populate one consolidated contact card for Greg. Mm -hmm. And then the last piece is the is the um, the calendar, right? So in addition to all of your standard kind of calendaring features, right? You got your agenda view, your day view, um, you know, the ability to, uh, here's our meeting here with The Verge. I can take this, I can drag it to another time, um, and then it will allow me to send updates to other participants on that meeting. Um, so it's really like a full desktop calendaring solution, right? Um, and you can even layer your calendars. You've got a whole new virtual keyboard, right, with, with uh, contextual predictive. So hello, everyone. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah. I think the best way to the next few, like you don't even need to type, right? That's actually crazy. It's, it's really, really strong. And um, for the BlackBerry users out there, we've incorporated all those BlackBerry keyboard shortcuts. My pen. So like double, double tapping a space bar to insert a period and a, and a capital, and then all of the contractions. So if I said can't, C-A-N-T, and hit space bar, it's going to automatically know that that's a, uh, a contraction, right? So just little, little kind of special things in there.